Today I'm going to show you how you can farm the new Eclipse mining game called Pow Pow and collect the Beach token. So I've got two guides. I have set up this miner on two computers. And if you don't want to do this setup, you will have to wait a couple of days for the website UI version to come forward. But till then you would have lost a lot of rewards and you will not be in the first spots to benefit massively from this. So let me explain what this is. Uh, Eclipse created a game that is very, very similar to how Bitcoin is getting mined. And this token has actually a liquidity pool where you can sell it for Ethereum or provide liquidity for it. And this game has just started now. And this is literally an experiment and a campaign for Eclipse to get more people into the ecosystem and it already performs quite well as an experiment. I mean, it has a good price, the mining is working. You can see here that uh, pools are getting set up to you know, allow for these things uh, to be tradable. So this is the token. There's not a lot of supply, not a lot of holders right now, but you can expect this to diversify, decentralize a lot. So let's go over the guides. I've got two guides for you from two independent people. I have set up, uh, you know, this system on two computers on my Mac over here on the background and also on this computer. So I'm going to show you how you can farm this. Uh, and it's for all systems, Mac, Windows, Linux. So let's get started. I will leave the two guides down below in the description uh, so, you, so you can have the exact commands. So first of all, if you use Linux and Mac, you can just get started installing Rust and installing Solana CLI. In case that you are on Windows, you will have to do this installation of WSL. What is WSL? It's essentially the Ubuntu Linux terminal. What is a terminal? It's a place where you can write commands that will be executed on your computer. Okay, so what you want to do is to open up your terminal and run WSL install. What is a terminal? Let me, let me show you. You write on the search bar on Windows terminal and you start here with WSL install. You copy this, you paste it here and you're good to go. Okay, it's that simple. When you want also to get access to WSL, again, this is only for Windows users. WSL is the default terminal on Linux and on Apple. You want to run WSL and it will log you in into that terminal. Simple as that, guys. It's very, very simple. Don't worry. The second step is installing Rust, installing the Solana CLI, okay? You can just use these commands. It's uh, very easy to do. Here, the guy says to source this environment. I didn't need to do that, but maybe you can try it out. Maybe you can do it. It may be necessary for some of you. So you go follow these guides, okay? If you're on Linux, if you're on Mac, and if you have opened up the Windows WSL, you just write these commands, hit enter, wait for the downloads to happen. Okay, this is, the, this is the tutorial up to this point, pretty simple. The next thing is we are going to create a Solana wallet locally on our computer. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to import it on Backpack. So you run Solana new, you just hit enter after that. You don't have to, uh, you know, specify codes and stuff. Don't worry, nobody's going to take your codes. And the location of the key pair, essentially the private key and all of these things will be on this specific directory. Okay, more on that later on. We're not finished yet. The next command we have to run on the cell or on our command line on Abudu or Mac is this one. This one says cargo install bridge, bridge actually, okay? This is again the same command on both of these. What this does is that it installs the actual mining operation. This is essentially what Eclipse has built. All of the other things that we do up to now is the setup. So we will be able to use this game, okay? Pretty simple, okay? Don't freak out. It's pretty, pretty simple up till this point. You just run these commands or you follow these guides, nothing strange. Then you have to set the RPC. You can set it to this link or if it doesn't work for you, you can set it to mainnet beta RPC. In my case, I use this bridge 00 because the other one is having so much stress right now, so I avoid it, okay? So you have installed the game, you have 
created a wallet, you have installed the dependencies, you have changed the RPC, then the next thing you want to do is prepare to play the game. So how are you going to be able to play the game? You will, have, you will need some Ethereum in your wallet, in the wallet that is on your computer. So you will have to fund this wallet with 0.005 Ethereum, okay? So here it says three zeros, here it says two zeros, I don't know, just put some money in there so you can get started, okay? So how are you going to put money into this? This is a very good question. What you do is run Solana config get. It will give and get the key pair path. Then you run cut key pair path. This will show you the content of the key pair path, okay? It will be an array. It will have brackets and numbers. You copy this from start to finish. You go to backpack, okay? You go to backpack, type in your code. There's other ways to do this, but I want to show you also how to connect to backpack, okay? This is my Pow Pow wallet, okay? This is my Pow Pow wallet. What you want to do is come, say, add new Eclipse wallet, go to private key, and here you paste this array that you got from this cat command key pair path. Key pair path again is a path that you get, you will see key pair path when you run Solana config get. You run this, you will see key pair path, you copy the path and you paste it in this command here. So cut the copied path and you get that array and you add it through this way to the Eclipse wallet, the backpack wallet. It's so simple, guys. And you here and here you have both your original wallet, your next wallet, and through this way you can do it on multiple computers and have all of your wallets linked on backpack. So whatever happens, you still have access to your wallets. If your computer get destroyed, you still have access to your wallets and you interconnect them, okay? And of course, let me tell you, by going to the locations there, and this location, you can also get your seed phases, which you will see when you generate with Solana Keygen. You get like the passphrase, you get your public key, which is your wallet address and all of these things. So essentially the next step you do after you connect backpack is you go to your original wallet, click send, select Ethereum, select your, your other wallet, the Windows Pow Pow, and you send some Ethereum to get started. So after you do this, what you want to do? You have four main commands. You have collect beach, which starts the mining process. You have beach claim, which allows you to claim beach and put them into your wallet. So you claim them from the mining operation and you put them into your wallet. So later you can sell them, provide liquidity, you can do whatever you want. Then you have beach account where you see your balance. The, the balance will be empty if you don't claim your beach, make sure to go and claim your beach as soon as possible, just for safety reasons. And also we don't know when boosted staking rewards will start. So make sure to always, uh, you know, every one, two hours do beach claim. Okay. It's important. So how can we run this operation on the background of our computers? You run screen as Eclipse. This will create a terminal that is running on the background. Okay. And even if you close this, the operation will still continue to run on the background. Then you do beach collect and you get started mining. Again, you will have to put the Ethereum on your wallet that is locally on your computer, which you created through Solana Keygen. And we have the information on this location. And we've seen how you can get like the private key and import into backpack and all of these things. Again, what I would suggest is pause the video. Go back to the beginning, get like this documentation that is down below in the description running on the side and get started. This could be a very, very profitable operation in one, two weeks from now. When the masses come and you already have some beach rewards on your computer, on your on your wallets, you will be one of the top thousand farmers, maybe 500 farmers of this. And Eclipse right now has 300 people. The ponzinomics of this operation and, you know, the fake scarcity, but actually there is scarcity because the supply is not infinite. It's like Bitcoin. The more you farm, the harder it becomes and the supply is fixed. So the more people that come in, the faster the supply is getting cut the harder the rewards are, but there is also staking. So if you start early and you've got a big amount of 
let's say, Eclipse tokens, the staking will snowball your rewards. So even though the rewards become smaller, because you have a bigger snowball from the beginning, you are able to farm faster and more than the others. So you get more returns. Now, again, this is a game. I would never ever suggest that you put money into this. You essentially put your computer power, which you use no matter what, and you farm this thing. And in the future, you may just want to deposit liquidity on this pool here so people can buy and sell. But this is a very nice game and I think it will be a wild, wild success. In my opinion, just my opinion, guys, I'm not, you know, pushing you to do whatever. This is just my opinion. I think it's going to be an amazing success. It's going to be amazing. Already the guys that have deposited liquidity are printing like quite a lot of good fees. And this is so early, this is like the first 10 hours. Not even a lot of people have done this thing already. You can see here the Eclipse scan of the token. I will make sure to leave it down below in the description. You can see that it's so, so early. Let me put also these things over here, just for reference. So I really, really like this game. I think it's going to lead to an even wider adoption for Eclipse. And I would highly suggest that you do it. Like it seems, it seems very, very fair. And you can see here the transactions that are happening, how many people are claiming. You know, there is a lot of activity on this one. And you know, it's something very interesting, something very novel coming from the community. And yeah, the next thing would be to set all of these things up on multiple computers. I would highly suggest that. I would not suggest that you spend money to open up VPCs which is essentially virtual uh, environments, virtual computers. But if you want to do that, I have a very good offer for you guys, okay? I have a very good offer with for you, which you can do very easily. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if you want to open up computers, uh, VPCs, uh, essentially it's virtual machines that mine for you, you can do it on Hostinger with 20% discount, okay? 20% discount just from me to you guys, okay? And yeah, you can spin up machines over here with just $3 a month, which is amazing. And specifically, what you want to do is you want to get a VPC hosting, okay? That's what you want to do. So sign up to get a discount, and then you have these VPC hosts that are very, very cheap in general. You want to make sure that you select not yearly plan, but monthly plan, don't like put a big term here and you can get like a core for gigabyte RAM and you can spin up 10 or tenths or hundreds of these machines to farm for you. And that could be also, you know, if you really want to farm this, you can do that. It's all up to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.